Okay? To be a student leader at UJ, you must carry the full load and you must pass everything. Amen. That is a leader that can lead himself by well. Welcome back to my channel. For those that don't know me, my name is Mohadi Murabi and I'm known as Kato and Caps 2 on Instagram. So today I'm taking you guys to the inauguration of the vice councillor of UJ, the vice councillor and principal, which is Prof. Lithokwa Mbedi. So yeah, I'm honoring an invite, a very prestigious invite so i'm um, taking you guys with me i couldn't take you guys um you know when i'm I was getting ready because it's usually after work um actually late i'm supposed to be there by seated by half past five now it's like 10 to what is it yeah it's 10 to 6. so hopefully we are not late to go straight hopefully we are not late so obviously i'm going with the hub and he's driving us <laughs> so we can greet you guys so yeah let's go <laughs> Yes, guys, I forgot to show you guys my outfit, and the hub is gonna say we are late. <laughs> Memories. Yes, ma'am. Of course. Of course. <laughs> That's right. I love it like that. <laughs> Thank you. 
Due to security reasons, you are requested not to leave the auditorium before the end of the proceedings. Please note that photos and videos must be taken from your seats. Please refrain from getting up and walking around inside the auditorium. As soon as the procession leaves the auditorium, you are requested to rise and remain standing until the procession and the guest of honor have left the auditorium. You are then invited to enjoy refreshments in the marquee. A final request, if you have a cell phone on you, please switch it off or put it on silent. Ladies and gentlemen, the procession will now enter the auditorium. You are requested to rise and remain standing until the members of the procession have taken their seats.
To be a student leader at UJ, you must carry the full load and you must pass everything. Amen. That is a leader that can lead himself by herself. You can have leaders that can lead themselves. This is how it should be, this is how it must be, and this is how it will be. Mm. Ladies and gentlemen, this represents a shift beyond academia to the economy, society, culture, and beyond. It is incumbent on us to lead through ideas, actions, and programs in ways that deliberately seek to ameliorate these challenges and positively impact on the world around us. The Greek mathematician Archimedes once said, open quote, give me a lever long enough and a fulcrum, fulcrum on which to place it and I shall move the world, close quote. In a contemporary context, the lever and fulcrum could be considered the convergence of the 4IR and the Sustainable Development Goals, ladies and gentlemen. The emphasis on societal impact is not only confined to the University of Johannesburg community, but demands that we push our collective gaze outwards. As we continue to make strides with technology, we must do so in a way that advances and positively impacts humanity and society. Mm. Among others, we have a responsibility to address gender disparities and gender-based violence. It really broke my heart to see the story of a young lady that is allegedly, uh, was allegedly murdered at my own village. We have to work hard at ensuring that we stop this gender disparities and gender-based violence. Oh.
end of the evening.